Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well as we navigate remote online teaching together. Several faculty have asked me how I make YouTube videos for my online courses, so I've created this three-part how-to guide that will have your video online in one hour or less. Let me preface by saying this. There are many ways to create and add videos to your Canvas course. The following process is my method, which for me gets the job done. As you become more comfortable with making YouTube videos, expect to develop your own methods and shortcuts too. And finally, before we get started, I encourage you to work alongside this video tutorial. That is, after I demonstrate a step, pause this video and do it too. By the end of the tutorial, you will have a YouTube video ready for your classes. Oh yeah, and if you want to earn flex credit, at the end of this tutorial, simply copy and paste a link to your YouTube video by clicking Submit Assignment above. Okay, let's begin. Part 1. Plan, Write, and Record. Step 1. Ask yourself, why should this be a video? What should it include? How long should it be? I often reserve the use of videos for two main reasons, announcements and mini lessons. I choose topics that might be best shared with an anecdote or perhaps something that is better expressed through video over something typed. Announcements include welcome messages, encouragement videos, or even introducing a topic or assignment. These videos are usually between two to five minutes long. A mini lesson video is still quite short, no longer than seven to 10 minutes in my classes. This is when I distill the most pertinent information from my typed lessons that can serve as an introduction or a summary of a topic to come. I opt for short videos rather than fully recorded lectures. This increases the chances of my students actually watching the videos fully. And according to YouTube data, most viewers stop watching after about seven minutes. Perhaps you can pause for a moment and reflect on these questions. You might consider a short one to two minute welcome video for this tutorial. Okay, step two, write a script or draft a plan. No matter the length and content of my videos, I always write a script. And that was even more important when I was new to making them. This keeps me on track, organizes my ideas, and reduces the hesitators such as, um, like, you know. This might feel cumbersome at times since it's not the way we naturally speak. However, with practice, it becomes quite useful. In fact, I'm reading from a script right now. And lastly, retain this script on your computer. It will come in handy later in this tutorial when we make closed captions on YouTube. Okay, now pause and type up a quick couple paragraphs for your welcome video. Step three, record your video. Depending on your computer, whether it's a Mac or PC, and your software preferences, there are a number of ways to record a video, such as QuickTime, iMovie, Camtasia, Zoom, etc. I encourage you to play with different technology and see what fits your needs the most. When I started, I recorded on my phone and simply uploaded straight to YouTube from there. I have a Mac which has iMovie and QuickTime standard. So that's what I use. Zoom, something we've really embraced at Long Beach City College, can also be recorded for this purpose if you want. Besides the technology, try and choose a well-lit, quiet place. I also like to elevate the computer like this, as opposed to how laptops, cameras typically look at us from the bottom looking up. I aim to speak clearly, but also naturally. Not too slow, but not rushing either. 
And when I screw up or lose my place, I just continue on. We will edit those mistakes out later in this process. This will take longer than the other steps, but now is the time to pause this video and record your own. Don't stress too much about the tiny details. This is practice. And there you have it. One part down, two to go. Let's get to it in the next video.